Hey, what's up everyone? Wanted to hop on here and do a quick review of these Max Power uh, lawnmower blades. I've actually got uh, two sets here. These are not sold as a set, they're sold separately. Uh, what I've got here is I've actually got the set of mulching blades, and then I've got what I call, I guess they call them high lift blades, or these are kind of the regular lawnmower blades you can see here. Um, they are both set for a 42 inch deck, which is what I have. I got a 42 inch riding mower. And um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to put them on towards the end of the video. But before we actually get outside, I kind of want to show you, uh, you know, how they, you know, why you'd get each set. So, for instance, uh, in the start of the season, because I still have some leaves, I kind of didn't really do a good spring, uh, good winter cleanup. So now I got some spring cleanup. I'm actually running a bagger on the back of my lawnmower. So I'm going to use these blades here. Um, th what these do is these blades are actually supposed to, uh, they basically lift and they create an updraft so that all the clippings go into the bag or they go uh, shoot out the side if you have a side discharge mower. Uh, that's what these are here supposed to do. And as you can see, they're a lot flatter than the... Uh, then the mulching blade, and as you can see the profile on here, they're, uh, they're they're not terribly sharp, but they're probably sharper than a mulching blade. But you'll see this one here, this basically gives you that cut as it comes in, comes around. And then again, this just kind of creates that that updraft into uh, into the bag or into the discharge. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna run the first cut, first two cuts there. But since I have about an acre of grass to cut, and um, I don't really have a place to compost it. They want me to, they want me to bag all of my clippings and I'm not bagging a, an acre's worth of clippings. After, once I get that one done, after the first cut, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bag it all year. Uh, I'm gonna actually switch to the mulching blades. Now, as you can see, the mulching blades, they have a much different design. These are basically meant to chop the grass up into finer pieces and then basically direct them back down into the mulch. Hence the name mulching blades. So they have a, they have a slightly different design. You're not gonna run a bagger on your, uh, on your lawnmower like this, and a lot of times you'll have like there's a, there's a cover that basically uh, bl uh, plugs off all the discharge, so all the all the clippings basically go back into the ground. I'll run this most of the season, and then when the fall time comes around, I'll pop these blades back on so I can pick up the uh, pick up the leaves and put them in a bag, as opposed to raking an entire acre of property. Now, when you're shopping for a lawnmower blade, the uh, I guess you call it the connection point or how they how they attach to your mower is very important. So right now, this is what's called a six star pattern. As you'll see, they're the same. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six points on the star. Uh, that's actually what the, the, the listing will tell you what brands it is. And sometimes you'll see this. It looks very, very similar, but it's actually a five star instead of a six star. So this is, this is something that's really, really, uh, it's, it's very easy to miss if you're an inexperienced, uh, it's your first time buying blades. So again, count the points on the star. If you take the blades off the old lawnmower or uh, you'll basically, again, just count, you'll, you'll make sure that it's the same. But uh, again, they look similar. That's something where a lot of people are going to get tripped up. Now, there's other blades that don't have a star pattern at all. Some of them just have a regular box. And if, you're, uh, if your mower just has a regular box or a five star, this, these blades will not fit. You'll have to get one with the actual, uh, with the actual same star pattern. Sorry, I, I, I don't want to beat that dead horse, but that is important. I don't want you to buy a wrong set of blades that are the right, because the they 42 inch will come in multiple, multiple patterns here. So you'll buy the right size, but you won't have the right attachment point. And then you're going to be stuck without uh, without blades on a lawnmower. So uh, now that that's kind of understand what the again mulching blade and regular blade, let's go outside. The install process is the same, so I'll show you uh, how to install them. Okay, so now that we're outside and we've got my uh, I've actually got my lawnmower all the way up. Um, I actually removed the bagger assembly so you can kind of better see what I'm doing. I'm gonna try to get the tripod right um, underneath here. Let me see if I can get you under here. Um, so there's basically just a single nut. That's actually uh, that's actually holding the blades on. In my case, in my Craftsman, this is a 15 16 but it could be something different for you. Uh, but it's just a single nut, and these blades are actually going to drop off. There's actually one on uh, on each side. You got one over there. You got one up here. So uh, let's actually uh, let's let me set this up, and we can just get it off. All right. So now we're here underneath the tractor. We've got our old blades over to here. Now you can see the uh, you can see the nut better. Again, I'm going to use an impact here to uh, to make it easier. But you can do this with any kind of regular breaker bar or a socket. Come into there again. Recommend using a glove so that because uh, you are going to be holding the blade here, you don't want to cut yourself because you're going to be putting some torque on this. Although I did confession, I did loosen this one up so I can make the video as I made sure I had the right size. So we'll get that one. We'll get that one off. Yours will not come off that easy, I promise. Then we're going to grab our brand new blade here, and what I want you to do is I want you to make note that when the old one comes off, let's see here we've got. You got your blade over here on the right side. I want you to make sure that you keep the blade in the same orientation, have that your taper over here, because if you do it the other way, you mount it upside down, you're not gonna get any kind of a cut. So you wanna make sure 
that this little like flare end at the back is actually pointing up and not down. So we're gonna put this back on over here. We're gonna index it. Well, actually, let me show you this here real quick. If you kind of look here, you'll see this is actually where the six star pattern goes in that indexes here with the blade. So what we're gonna do, okay, we'll make sure that that's the right way. Make sure it indexes, you see how it goes in and locks. So what we're gonna do, I'm trying to do this for the camera here so you can see it. It's generally not this awkward. Ugh. But you're getting to see it here. All right, put that up. Put that over there. Make sure it, make sure it indexes right. Get it on there right. Make sure, it's, again, make sure it's in city, seated inside the star. Put your, you're gonna put your impact on it, hold it here with the glove. Tighten it in and you're good to go. You'll repeat the same thing on the other side and then you'll have a fresh new set of blades for the season. Hey, real quick, if you like what you see in this video and you wanna purchase one for yourself, I've left links to everything here in the description. And if you want more no nonsense, no BS product reviews, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the, uh, hit the bell so you don't miss one.